today we're going to be talking about the costs for sellers when selling a home in Florida. So grab a piece of paper and a pencil. You might want to take some notes. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Trish Nystrom. I'm a real estate agent here in Gainesville, Florida, and I work with Watson Realty. Today we're talking about what seller's closing costs you can expect to pay when you have a transaction in the state of Florida. While buyers also pay closing costs, you'll see a column on the settlement statement for seller's closing costs. Closing costs can vary from area to area, so you can expect to pay between three and 10% of closing costs at settlement time. This won't be cash out of your pocket, but it will be deducted from the profits of your home at the closing table. Now, if you're selling with very little equity, you may have to bring cash to the closing table. Probably the biggest fee that you're going to be charged as a seller will be the realtor commission fees. Now, these fees can vary from area to area, and they're typically split evenly between the listing agent and the buyer's agent. The next item you're going to be charged is the loan payoff. If you hold a mortgage on your present home, that mortgage will have to be paid off at the closing time. Any equity loans that you have that are attached to that home will also need to be paid off. Now, of course, there is a fee by the attorney or the title company to make those changes and make those payments at the time of the closing. The next item that you'll be asked to pay for as a seller is the dock stamp tax or excise tax. This is a tax imposed by the state and it's calculated at 70 cents per $100 of value of the home. For example, a $300,000 home will have a dock stamp tax of $2,100. Home sellers also have to pay for owner's title insurance premiums. Now, this is figured at $5.75 per $100 worth of value. So in our example of that $300,000 home, the charge for title insurance would be $1,725. There's also a charge for the title company or the attorney to do a title search on your home and make sure that there's no liens or judgments on your property. That cost could range between $200 and $400. Now, of course, you have to pay the attorney or the title company who's actually doing the paperwork for your closing. Their fees are usually between $500 and $1,000. Property taxes also have to be paid at the closing table. This fee is paid in arrears, and it also includes the day of closing. You only pay for the time that you were actually in the home, but it does include the day of closing. Homeowners association fees are also due at this time. If you pay yours quarterly, that fee will be collected at closing for the time that you were in the house, but it also could show up as a credit to the buyer. Some miscellaneous fees that you could be charged might be a home warranty that you're offering to your buyer or that you've had in place uh, covering you while the home is listed. That could be about $500. Of course, that does depend on what kind of coverage you've got. If you're doing your closing remotely, you might have mail courier fees, notary fees, um, wire fees. You have something called an HOA estoppel fee. This is the fee for the homeowners association to take the paperwork out of the seller's name and put it into the buyer's name. It can range anywhere between $75 to $500 and, and up. Depending on the type of purchase contract that you receive, you could also be charged for a termite inspection or certain repairs that were found during the home inspection. At the time of listing your home with a realtor, he or she should be able to provide you with a seller's net sheet. This is an estimate of the approximate closing cost that you will incur at the closing table. Now, while it could be pretty accurate, it's an estimate and prices could change depending on your situation. Your realtor will keep you up to date with any changes. Selling your house can be a stressful time, but it doesn't have to be. 
lean on your realtor and ask questions. That's what we're here for. Thanks for watching. Please click the link below to get a copy of my free seller's guide. Inside, you'll find some great hints and tips to make the selling process just a little bit easier and a little bit less stressful. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below too. Every week there's a new video coming and I would love to see you here next week. My name is Trish Nystrom. I'm with Watson Realty here in Gainesville. I'll see you next week.